My name is Jimmy R. Longoria. I'm an artist, a muralist, and a rabble rouser. We are in the Inez Greenberg Gallery, and this is my show, El Corazón de Minnesota, presented by Artistry. Corazón de Minnesota directly translated means heart of Minnesota. However, for Spanish speakers, Corazón has an explosive range of meanings. Um, and it, the heart of it, pun intended, is that it's about us as people and the thing that motivates us. Uh, we, in modern society, we think we think our way through things, but actually we feel our way through our lives. And so the work here is assembled around that concept. We have here material that is vinyl and uh, prismatic film. We have traditional paint, and then we have painting on non-traditional surfaces. The shovels. First of all, they're not traditional art pieces, and they're not for sale. They are meant for people who do great commitment and support of community on all kinds and all levels, but principally in the Latino, Hispanic, Chicano community. They're treated like a folk art thing. They're special in that the front of the shovel sort of narrates something. The back of the shovel is reserved for the recipient of the shovel. And on the back of the shovel, I paint symbols and elements that are meant for them. And you'll see here in the show how they're hung. That's how they're hung in people's offices. The corporation invited me to come in and paint in front of the Hispanic employees of 3M. And then they said, well, we'd like to keep the piece. And, and I was prepared to do a series of big paintings, much like the mural that's in this show. Somebody said, could you do something on 3M material? And I jokingly said, sure, I can paint on post-it note. Uh, but they said no. And then they introduced me to some of the materials that they are working to get into the American architectural market. It was like being a, a kid in a candy store. It was quite challenging because it's a, it's a live show and it was, I have to get done in eight hours. The pieces here are my continuing to research the use of the material with the scraps that were left over from the project. What's beautiful about this material, if you move in front of one of these pieces, the green goes to brown to purple. It's amazing. And then if you come across a reflecting surface, you're in the painting. The maternal side of my father's family uh, were Garzas and they were all horse trainers. Instead of doing the English, you know, grand horse, I got to know horses because as a kid you're allowed to go and play with these thoroughbreds that each horse has a distinct personality. The pieces are not so much to represent the idealized horse, but to recognize that the horses are individuals. My grandfather made a deal uh, with a, a farmer to buy all his old, rusty, dirty uh, Ford tractors. Um, but my grandfather, very as an entrepreneur, took them to the mechanic, had them, uh, went from 10 to five tractors, but then he had them painted different colors so he could tell at a glance, and they had special uses. Uh, and so that, that stuck in my memory, and I, I love the idea of being told in the morning, go start the blue tractor, or go start the rose tractor. And later on when I started painting them here in Minnesota, people who have farm experience would come and they'd tell me stories about their tractors that were in fact painted different colors, um, because farmers use whatever paint they have. The Black and White series is courtesy of my friend Mimi Stewart, and she is a, a longtime supporter. She's just fanatical about me. One day she said, I had this dream that all your work was in black and white. And I, I kind of went, oh. But my wife, who's a very intuitive, said, black and white series. The most important thing that inspires me in my work is the faith of my wife. She has the red dot rule. If there's a piece I produce that she thinks is really special, she puts a red dot. It's, we don't see it, we don't tell anybody, but it's hers. The natural question is, where's the heart? And the heart isn't really an animate object, it is a spiritual object. Los maridos means the married ones. You'll see the hands come together, not quite knit, but the heart is implied because the heart is there between us. And it becomes a powerful metaphor. If we do things with, from our heart instead of our brains, we do it right. My original inspiration was, I'm going to affect people not just Latino, Chicano people, but everybody. 
with the truth of our common humanity. And that's what we need right now, common 